200 years ago, one nurse defied the odds and changed the practice of nursing forever. Today we are reminded of the difference one person can make. The power you hold is exceptional. Your strength and resilience is a testament to your commitment to serve others. There is only one word to describe you, hero. On the anniversary of Florence Nightingale's 200th birth year, we pledge to be like you, to never quit. To accelerate our commitment of preparing the next generation of nurses for tomorrow. To invest in every means necessary to ensure their success. To instill in them the same passion, drive, and pioneering spirit that you and Florence taught us. Tonight, we honor you, the ones who give selflessly to those in need. Congratulations, Florence would be proud of you. Welcome to the 32nd Annual Nightingale Awards. We are so happy you could join us this evening to help honor the incredible nurses in our community. While this award celebration is a time-honored tradition, this is an unprecedented and uncharted time. This is my favorite night, though, each year, where we honor the best in our profession. It is especially profound to do so this year because it's the year of the nurse and midwife. Also, May 12, 2020 was the 200th anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale. Happy birthday to the lady with the lamp. She was coined that name from her diligent rounding throughout the hospital, carrying a lamp and checking on the wounded soldiers during the Crimean War. In this year of the nurse and midwife, we commemorate Florence Nightingale for her scientific discoveries and her establishment of a formal education program to prepare nurses. Her use of statistics to establish the etiology of infections and to evaluate outcomes from environmental modifications and treatments was unprecedented for the times. Her established foundational principles of hygiene are just as important today as in the mid 18 hundreds, and they continue to save lives daily. The decision to become a nurse is a deeply personal one. Unlike many careers, this decision is not about salary or a corner office. It is about caring and serving. At the very core of nursing is this reality. We are called on to help others. The call to help came with challenges in 2020 that few of us were prepared for as the coronavirus pandemic changed healthcare overnight. But you rose to the challenge. While the rest of the world stayed home, you innovated to provide exceptional patient care while limiting outside exposures. When ICUs filled and spilled over, all departments and floors quickly pivoted and learned to assist in the care of ICU patients. With PPE limited and in high demand, you conserved, labeled, and decontaminated while new supplies arrived. While visitors to the hospital were limited, patients often took their last breaths, holding the hands of their dedicated nursing team. You became modern day heroes and local celebrities, and the world has never been more grateful that you took the oath to serve. This takes leadership, the kind of leadership that Florence Nightingale showed back in Victorian England when women were not at the forefront of any profession. It is leadership mixed with compassion and a willingness to serve. That is what we do. Tonight's honorees each represent our profession in a special and meaningful way. You will hear their stories and be moved by their commitment to the communities they serve, the patients they care for, and their overall dedication to excellence in all they do. We will hear incredible examples of nurses who are having an impact on the realms of public health, innovation, research, and patient care. The many contributions of nurses go well beyond the boundaries of healthcare. These caring practitioners are impacting the global community. They uphold the ideals that Nightingale set forth over a century ago. This is their night. 
For all nurses on the front lines, on the sidelines, in the classroom, in the boardroom, whether it is in the hospitals, home care, industry, academia, or the community, tonight is for you. Now, I have the pleasure of introducing the president of Oakland University, Dr. Ora Hirsch Peskovitz, to offer her words of encouragement and congratulations on this significant occasion during the year of the nurse. She has been a lifelong supporter of nursing through her career as a physician, researcher, and administrator. It has been a pleasure working together with her growing the nursing program. Welcome, Dr. Peskovitz. Thank you, Judy, and thank you to all of you who represent the many areas of Michigan healthcare including administrators from Ascension, Detroit Medical Center, McLaren Healthcare, Henry Ford Health System, Beaumont Health, St. Joseph Mercy Health System, Trinity Health, and all of our sponsors who are joining us this evening. Tonight, we share in celebrating the people who are at the heart of our collective effort to improve the health of all throughout our region our nurses. I am so honored to be with you virtually and to recognize our most exceptional nurses who are in our region as part of the 2020 Nightingale Awards for Nursing Excellence. After the urgent response to help people who are suffering from COVID-19 over the past several months, it's pretty clear that it is our nurses who are our heroes. This is a year when the entire nursing profession needs to take a collective bow. All of us should really stand up and applaud the heroic selflessness of nurses in the face of a dire public health threat. But as we know, Nurses aren't the type of people who seek attention. Rather, it's nurses who are the type of compassionate people who give their attention. Every day since the middle of March, we've heard stories about the heroic work of healthcare workers who put duty and obligation before their own personal safety. And every day since the middle of March, nurses throughout our entire region have worked tirelessly putting themselves in close proximity to a devastating virus, knowing that their work, their calling, is to make sure that they are there for everyone else, starting first with their patients. You know, nurses, not only did you show up to care for your patients, but you showed us what courage and dedication to a purpose looks like and you excelled beyond all measure. We at Oakland University are deeply committed to playing a vital role in supporting a strong healthcare community. And our commitment has been on display during this pandemic. While nurses, including Oakland University graduates, stand on the COVID-19 front line, they have been joined by Oakland University nursing student seniors at their sides, assisting in the healthcare of COVID-19 patients. In addition, many of the OU School of Nursing faculty put in long hours providing hands-on care in our hospitals. We've also helped in a variety of other ways. As a university, we made our dorms available to healthcare workers. We provided our PPE supplies to local hospitals, and we distributed food and so much more to needy people in all of our communities. Our students also tutored the children of healthcare providers so that they could then care for sick patients. You know, if the past several months taught us anything at all, it's that it can be extremely difficult to know what lies ahead and the experience has probably changed every single one of us forever. For nurses, I know it's likely that the changes will include a lot of things, 
like the greater use of technology, the greater use of telehealth, and probably an even greater emphasis on primary care. But I do know this, we can all agree that there are some things that will never change, qualities in nurses that will never ever change. As a one-time practicing physician, I learned early on that nurses often know a lot more about patients than physicians do. Well, okay, it's more that nurses always know more than doctors know. You know, I had many wonderful experiences working alongside nurses, and these memories continue to inspire me today. I really appreciate the depth of the passion that nurses show in caring for their patients who are sick and ailing. And tonight's honorees embody the core values that make nurses the face, the heart, and the soul of our healthcare system. These are the qualities reflected in nurses' day-to-day -day work, and these are qualities that are needed to create a more human and a more humane world. The values of caring, of kindness, and of the highest ethical standards. Congratulations to tonight's honorees for upholding the finest traditions of nursing and for your continued inspiration. I have the great pleasure and honor now to introduce our governor, a person who has shown tremendous ability, calm, compassion, and leadership during the greatest healthcare crisis facing our state, the nation, and the world. Quite frankly, Governor Whitmer's steady and methodical approach to managing the pandemic has saved countless lives. For that and for so many other reasons, we owe her a debt of gratitude and great appreciation. And equally worthy of note is Governor Whitmer's passionate commitment to an equitable and affordable healthcare system for all of our residents, especially addressing social, racial, and economic disparities. On a national level, Governor Whitmer has been an outspoken advocate, pushing for more resources and federal assistance to combat COVID-19, along with pushing for a more civil discussion about what we have in common rather than what separates us. Her management of the timely opening of various economic sectors is a judicious balance of public health concerns and economic necessities. And we look forward to her continued leadership in the days that lie ahead as we move on to containing the pandemic and toward full economic recovery and prosperity and to the health of our population. Please join me in welcoming the governor of the great state of Michigan, our governor, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I want to offer my congratulations to this year's honorees of the 32nd Nightingale Awards for Nursing Excellence, hosted by Oakland University School of Nursing. I know that this year's event is different, but your hard work and excellence deserves recognition and thanks. Nurses, doctors, and medical professionals have been on the front lines battling COVID-19 here in Michigan and around the world. Your courage, determination, and dedication have saved lives. You continue to do your part and make a difference as we lower the curve and protect Michiganders across our state. So thank you. Thank you for all you do and continue to do. Congratulations and enjoy the celebration. Thank you, Governor Whitmer. 
It's an honor having you join us in celebrating Michigan nurses and recognizing the amazing contribution that nurses have made for the residents of the state of Michigan. Having tremendous partnerships throughout the state is essential for programs to continue to educate and increase the future nursing workforce. These partnerships allow students from Oakland University School of Nursing to have experiences that will prepare them for the myriad of nursing careers that exist. We are fortunate that our partners are generous with their support. I would like to thank the School of Nursing's Board of Visitors. Tonight would not be possible without them. These amazing individuals are advisors and advocates for our school and for the future of nursing. Their dedication plays a key role in positioning Oakland University School of Nursing as one of the largest state-supported nursing programs in Michigan. Most importantly, they help to create the life-changing opportunities that prepare our students for success. The original vision of the Nightingale Awards actually came from the Board of Visitors founder and visionary Maggie Allisey. We're so grateful to our board for their unwavering support. The next speaker is an exceptional nurse and an inspiring nurse leader. He's the Chief Nursing Officer at St. Joseph Mercy, Oakland, and System CNO for Trinity Health, Michigan. He serves on many nursing organizations, including the Oakland University School of Nursing Board of Visitors, and is the president of the Michigan Organization of Nurse Leaders. Please welcome Mr. Doug DeCenzo. Hello, I'm Doug DeCenzo. As last year's recipient of the Nightingale Award for Executive Administration, it is my profound pleasure and privilege to celebrate every nurse who is being recognized in this venue and as a member of the most trusted profession in our nation. Congratulations to you all. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, there have been several lessons learned and multiple nursing opportunities revealed amid the crisis. I would be remiss if I failed to mention just a few. During the height of the first wave of the pandemic, I observed increased collaboration and interdependency between nursing and medicine, as well as other disciplines. Fear was one motivational factor in addition to the necessity to limit the number and duration of patient exposures. In multiple cases, nurses were the only human connection these patients experienced, while many disciplines instead leveraged technology to create a patient encounter. The primary nursing care model became the norm by default after fear, reluctance, and even refusal from others to meet the basic needs of these patients were encountered. Nursing assessment data and input into the plan of care were ever more significant than previously solicited or acknowledged. Teams formed to manage the same group of patients in a consistent and more predictable manner while communication had become more streamlined and effective. The way this disease manifested itself in the human body as well as its trajectory were truly only understood best by nurses, including the effects of medication, high flow oxygen, and proning. With an executive order, certain bedside nurses were empowered to conduct medical screening exams to determine the necessity for emergency care. In addition, a nursing licensure compact was established under the declaration of a disaster, allowing nurses across state lines to practice in Michigan to increase the supply to meet demand, especially critical care nurses. In an effort to decrease the number of false negative test results, nurses formed a team dedicated to nasal swabbing. The vascular access team comprised of nurses was empowered to insert central and arterial lines because surgical residents were subjecting themselves to increased exposure time in their failed attempts. Many of the privileges we had been previously requesting based on competence and top of licensure were met with resistance. However, they say, don't waste a good crisis. There is opportunity in crisis, and it is incumbent upon us to seize it and own it responsibly, competently, and enthusiastically. Advocacy in the state of Michigan may look a little different this year. 
I encourage all to participate in advocacy events virtually or otherwise. Stay informed because you can and do make a difference. You have far more knowledge and experience than your legislators making decisions that affect your practice and the health and well-being of your patients than you even recognize. Moreover, serving a greater good will bring you far more joy and satisfaction, as well as tremendous resolve and resiliency. In closing, I wish to offer each one of you my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for every reward and happiness this profession can offer you. It can and will deliver, but depends largely on what you choose to do with it. Who could have known how befitting it is to designate 2020 as the year of the nurse and midwife? Never has it been so apparent and well-deserved that you should receive such recognition at this unprecedented time. I am so proud of each of you, and I have never been prouder to be a nurse as I am sharing this moment with you at this time. Thank you, Doug, for that inspirational perspective. We have grown so much through this crisis as nurses, as healthcare professionals, and as individuals. On a night like tonight, when we reflect on the exceptional impact that the profession of nursing has had on this pandemic, we would be remiss if we did not pause to remember those that made the ultimate sacrifice. Each and every day, nurses put their patients' health and well-being above their own to deliver the best health care to those that need them. Let us all observe a brief moment of silence in honor of our dedicated colleagues that lost their lives while serving during the COVID-19 pandemic. We will forever honor your memory in our work and always remember the sacrifices you made to this profession. Now, I'd like to take time and thank our many sponsors for tonight's event. They're important partners in our work and their help makes it possible for us to provide awards for our honorees, scholarships for our students, funding for faculty research, and pursue new educational technology. Thank you for your generosity to Oakland University School of Nursing. We had no idea when we received their pledges of support early in the year that this would be one of the most needed years for their assistance. We thank all of our generous supporters and especially the 2020 Nightingale presenting sponsor, Ascension. Here's a brief message from Ascension, Michigan. Hello, I'm Joe Hershey, Chief Operating Officer for Ascension, Michigan. We're coming to you from our homes and offices as we continue to follow all safety protocols for COVID-19. We don't want to miss this opportunity to represent Ascension, Michigan as this year's presenting sponsor for Oakland University's School of Nursing Nightingale Award. From all of us at Ascension, Michigan, thank you to all the nursing heroes we honor tonight, as well as the thousands of others we appreciate every day of the year. God bless you for your courageous service. Thank you. And I'm Don Bignati, Chief Clinical Officer for Ascension, Michigan. At a time when many patients are alone and isolated from their families, nurses have gone beyond clinical care with simple acts of kindness and compassion. Across our Ascension, Michigan hospitals, we've seen nurses sing to patients play games with patients in isolation across the glass, and help patients and families find new and safe ways to connect through windows, through virtual visits, and through prayer. Thank you. Ascension Michigan is beyond grateful to the more than 8,500 nurses who bring their compassion and expertise to our facilities and programs across the state, caring for those in need. They are truly healthcare heroes. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Kyle Sassina, and I'm one of the co-chairs of this year's Nightingale Awards for Nursing Excellence. And I am Charlene Shia. We are extremely proud to be part of this annual event that recognizes and honors all that nurses contribute to the collective good. Well, this isn't the event we envisioned when we took the roles, 
In light of what the year 2020 brought us, this certainly wasn't the year to turn our backs on the Nightingale Awards or continue to postpone to a more certain time. Neither Kyle nor I are nurses, banker, lawyer, but we both have an incredible amount of respect and appreciation for the nursing profession. The breadth and depth of knowledge combined with empathy for others is awe-inspiring. We are so excited to be here tonight to pay tribute to those who make a very real difference every day in our communities. And especially during this monumental Year of the Nurse, more than ever do we feel gratitude for the amazing nurses out there. Before we begin the presentation of the Nightingale Awards, we'd like to take a moment to recognize some key contributors that through their combined efforts have helped to make tonight possible. It's because of your unwavering support and encouraging words that we've had the tenacity to take on an event with 32 years of history in our first year as co-chairs and reinvent it during this time of uncertainty. We could not have done this without you. Thank you to Ascension Michigan, tonight's generous two-time presenting sponsor. Thank you to platinum sponsor, J&B Medical, and gold sponsors, Beaumont Health and Henry Ford Health System. Also, our immense gratitude to Silver Sponsors, Detroit Medical Center, and St. Joseph Mercy Health System. We also want to extend our thanks to our bronze sponsors, Carico Maldigan Insurance, Dickinson Wright, McLaren Oakland and McLaren Macomb, Ogletree Deacons, Priority Health, TCF Bank, Williams Williams, Ratner and Plunkett, and last, but certainly not least, Thank you to the People's Choice Award sponsor, Oakland University Credit Union. What an amazing group of partners that have dedicated their resources to support nursing education and future nurse leaders. There's another group that we need to acknowledge for their important contribution to the Nightingale Awards. This year's awards were decided by a diverse selection committee made up of 10 representatives from a wide range of hospital systems and community health care organizations. The Nightingale Nomination Committee, led by co-chairs Marlene Mullen and Julia Libke, had the very difficult and time-consuming task of going through each nomination, reviewing, evaluating, and grading them to identify the winners and runners-up. Each and every nominee had special qualities and achievements that deserve to be honored. Selecting winners from this exceptional pool is no easy task. So thank you to this year's nomination committee for your valued contribution. We wanna take a moment to acknowledge the many nurses who were nominated this year. It's an honor just to be nominated and each of you stand out for what you do and contribute mightily to the nursing profession. You'll see the full list of these exceptional nurses in the event program books, as well as the entire list of esteemed Nightingale winners from the past 32 years. Now, what we have all been waiting for, the award presentation. Tonight is about highlighting the incredible people who do so much to make our healthcare system strong. These professionals are advocates, expert leaders, and doers who provide patient care. They resolve complex problems and help implement new advances in medicine. They are the new Nightingales. This next group of nurses have answered the call to serve others, improve the delivery of care to patients, and improve policies and protocols in the clinical setting. They have invested hours upon hours at the bedside and in the community, sometimes even across the world, saving lives, improving health outcomes, and bringing comfort to people during times of pain and sadness. You can read more specifics about their individual exceptional accomplishments in the program book on the School of Nursing website. We now present the 2020 Nightingale Award Runners Up. Our first runner up in the category of advanced practice nursing is Patricia Klassa from Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital. Congratulations, Patricia. The Oakland University School of Nursing Distinguished Alumni Runner-Up Award goes to Kelly Wilson from Carmanos Cancer Institute. Congratulations, Kelly. The runner-up for the Excellence in Education Award is Suzanne Purvis from Beaumont Hospital, Royal Oak. Congratulations to you, Suzanne. 
and the runner up for emerging nurse leader category goes to Laura Ashburn from Ascension Providence Hospital Novi. Congratulations, Laura. The runner up in the executive administration category is Julie Nemens from Detroit Medical Center. Congratulations, Julie. Susan Martinez from Oakland County Health Division is the runner up for the Nursing in the Community Award. Congratulations to you, Susan. The runner up for excellence in post-acute care and specialty nursing is Kimberly Jarvis from McLaren Macomb. Congratulations, Kimberly. In the category of pioneer in nursing research, the runner up is Lindsay Pemble from Beaumont Hospital, Wayne. Way to go, Lindsay. There are two awards being presented for excellence in staff nurse practice. The runner up for the first staff nurse practice award is Alexis Zinda from Beaumont Hospital, Royal Oak. Congratulations, Alexis. The runner up for the second staff nurse practice award is Marissa Chen from Ascension Providence Hospital, Novi. Congratulations, Marissa. And finally, the runner up for People's Choice Award goes to Christiane Champagne from Residential Home Health. Congratulations, Christiane. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the 2020 Nightingale Award runners up. Well, we can't call this group to the stage and make sure everyone stands six feet apart, but let's welcome them all to our virtual stage via video call so we can see them and give them the round of applause they deserve. <clears throat> Wonderful. Congrats to you all. Each runner up will receive a Nightingale plaque. These plaques are sponsored this year, as always, by a very special Board of Visitor member and Nightingale founder, Miss Maggie Alessi. In addition, winners and runners up each receive a Nightingale pin to wear proudly. Okay, before we get to the next exciting part, announcing the winners, let's pause for a brief word from our generous platinum sponsor, JMB Medical and its affiliate HNC Virtual Solutions. This is it. It's time to present the 2020 winners of the Nightingale Award for Nursing Excellence. Each of the recipients of this prestigious award receives a solid bronze statue of Florence Nightingale, a $1,000 cash award, and a commemorative Nightingale pin. This year's pin sponsor is PNC Financial. We encourage you to read more about these outstanding nurses and their exceptional contributions in the field of nursing and their stories behind their nomination in the program book. Their achievements are truly inspiring. The first Nightingale Award is for Advanced Practice Nursing and is sponsored this evening by the Michigan Council of Nurse Practitioners. Hello, I'm Dr. Mary Ann McCoy, President of the Michigan Council of Nurse Practitioners. This year's Nightingale Award for Advanced Practice goes to an exceptional professional whose clinical expertise enhances the scope and practice of nursing. She's a DMP and an adult clinical nurse specialist whose clinical practice focus is on decreasing maternal morbidity and mortality. She is passionate about improving women's health, obstetrics, and neonatal outcomes. With her expertise and guidance, she has initiated healthcare practice improvement that has been adopted system-wide during delivery such as quantification of maternal blood loss and implementation of the use of nitric oxide to decrease the use of narcotics during laboring women. It is an honor for me to announce the winner of the Nightingale Award for Advanced Practice, Dr. Madonna Latticer from Huron Valley Sinai Hospital. I am especially honored today to receive the Nightingale Award in 2020 not only because it is the year of the nurse, but also because it is a year in healthcare that will be historic for what we have done to power through and rise above. I have never been so proud to call myself a nurse 
as we fight at the front lines of a war where the enemy is silent but fatal. To my colleagues, especially the leadership team at Heron Valley and Rebecca and Ashley who nominated me, thank you for your faith and encouragement. To my family, my parents and in-laws, Aunt Kelly, my children, and my husband, JP, thank you for your belief in my abilities and your continued support. To nurses everywhere and the patients we are privileged to care for, here's to another 200 years of service and innovation. Thank you. Congratulations, Madonna. Presenting next for the Oakland University Distinguished Alumni Award is OU Alumni, School of Nursing Board of Visitors Chair and Senior Vice President and Market Chief Nursing Officer from Detroit Medical Center, Sean Levitt. Hello all. The Oakland University Distinguished Alumni Award is given to a professional standout nurse who is a graduate of Oakland University's BSN, MSN, or DNP programs. He or she demonstrates the intellectual ability, clinical competence, and leadership characteristics emphasized at Oakland University School of Nursing. This year's Distinguished Alumni Winners focus is on forensic nursing and education for the care of patients affected by violence. She's visiting faculty for Oakland University's Forensic Nursing Program, a practicing nurse at Royal Oak Beaumont Family Birthing Center and Carmano Center for Natural Births, as well as a forensic nurse at Turning Point, providing medical forensic exams for patients who are victims of violence. I'm proud to present the Nightingale Award for Distinguished Alumni to Christina Boyland from Beaumont Hospital, Royal Oak. I want to start off by thanking my colleagues who thought my accomplishments worthy of this award and for taking the time to nominate me. Learning I was a recipient was, and still seems, quite surreal. Being included in this remarkable group of excellence is an extreme honor that I will carry with me through my nursing journey and hold as a lifetime memory. This is not an accomplishment achieved by me as an individual, yet one that I share with my tremendous family and mentors who have provided unconditional encouragement guidance, and support. Their unwavering belief in me inspires my commitment to continue to improve care for patients, particularly those affected by violence, and advance our field. It is an incredible privilege to share this evening with you all tonight. Thank you. Congratulations, Christina, and thank you, Sean. The next Nightingale Award is in the category of excellence in education. Hi. I'm David Phillips, Managing Director with Mass Mutual Michigan Metro in Farmington Hills, Michigan. The Nightingale Excellence in Education Award is given to a professional nurse who demonstrates innovative educational activities and contributes to quality patient care through education. We are honored to present the award for excellence in education to a nurse who has made it her mission over the last 17 years to close the lower economic health disparities gap through education of the advantages of breastfeeding throughout the Detroit community and through her developed training at Huxville Women's Hospital. She's worked hard to increase access to professional lactation consultants for minority mothers and increase the number of minority lactation consultants. She's developed programs and has trained physicians, nurses, and patients on breastfeeding best practices. She's a tireless advocate for families and is known for her willingness to do whatever it takes to ensure patient success. The winner of the 2020 Nightingale for Excellence in Education is Delisha Shamoski from Hustle Women's Hospital. Congratulations, Delisha. I'm honored to be selected for a Nightingale Award and to be in this group of nurses that are doing so many amazing things. Thank you to my director, Dr. Marcy Simon Burrell, for supporting me professionally and for this awesome nomination. To my husband, Robert, and my children, Kevin and Jennifer, thank you for your love. Thanks to my sister, Audrey, and my 92-year-old mom by continuing to support me going to breastfeeding events. 17 years ago, I had no idea that I would love lactation and lactation would pay me back in the way that it has. But my director at the time somehow knew and steered me to it. Thank you, Faye McKinnon. Thanks to Shannon McKinney Schubert from the Michigan Breastfeeding Network. I adore you for your wonderful letter of reference and look forward to more adventures in breastfeeding with you. And as always, thanks to Kimmy the Bear and my dad, Miss Schubert. Congratulations, Delicia. 
Next up is the Nightingale Award for Emerging Nurse Leader, which gets awarded to a nurse leader who serves as a frontline manager or supervisor. Presenting this award is sponsor Gallagher Insurance. Hello, my name is Ann Young with Gallagher. The Emerging Nurse Leader Award is given to an individual that champions creative strategies and management in healthcare, often implementing efficient operating systems while fostering a positive work environment. This year's Emerging Nurse Leader Award goes to a nurse who is responsible for floor and staff operations of an active orthopedic specialty unit. He leads a system-wide orthopedic clinical care program and has advanced orthopedic practices through implementing innovative strategies and patient care methods, like a bracelet given to a post-op patient to facilitate queries to the orthopedic unit 24 hours a day which has allowed nurses to improve patient assessments, triage, and communications. He's been characterized as a leader with exceptional skill, compassion, and drive, who goes the extra mile for his patients and his team. This year's award goes to Derek Cousineau from Dearborn, Beaumont Dearborn Hospital. Congratulations, Derek. truly honored and humbled to have been selected for the 2020 Emerging Nurse Leader Award, and I'm blessed to be among such an exceptional group of nurses at this evening's event. I want to thank the Nightingale Selection Committee for the opportunity to receive this award. Additionally, I want to extend my sincere gratitude to Michelle Glawalla for nominating me for the Nightingale, and to my director, Helena Hardin, for supporting my nomination. Both of your nursing skill, experience, and leadership have been very inspirational. Of course, and most importantly, I want to thank my wife, Audrey, my daughter, Callie, and my son, Cameron, for your support, encouragement, and always believing in me. Thank you. Thank you, Derek, for all that you do. Now for the Excellence in Executive Administration Award. It will be presented by award sponsor, TCF Bank. Hi, I am Jim Robinson from TCF Bank, and I'm honored to be able to present the Nightingale Award for excellence in executive administration to a nurse leader who provides model leadership and management in healthcare service through visionary and innovative approaches. This year's winner is known for her success in leading people and change, as well as building effective teams, developing leaders, and inspiring others to action. She's known as an authentic leader who walks the talk in fostering high-level patient care and a work environment that is safe, healing, and rewarding. She has a track record for outstanding performance and has led and collaborated with her teams to create a culture transformation resulting in achieving magnet designation, as well as improved quality outcomes. In her role as CNO, she has led efforts around improving workplace safety with a focus on decreasing violence in the workplace. Her efforts resulted in an implementation of policies and practices that support and protect clinicians from abuse and violence. The winner of the Excellence in Executive Administration Award is Anne Stewart of Beaumont Hospital, Royal Oak. Congratulations, Anne. I would like to thank all the exceptional nurses that worked tirelessly through the most difficult time in recent nursing history. Words cannot adequately express the appreciation for your exceptional care. You made nursing history, and more importantly, you saved many lives. Thank you. Susan Grant, Andrea Carr, Nick Gilpin, thank you for this incredible nomination. Your words mean the world to me as I admire each one of you as exceptional leaders in healthcare. Thank you. I'd also like to thank my family that has stood beside me. Their love and support made it possible for me to complete my education and various nursing roles while raising a family. Bob, my husband, our wonderful children, Rob, Aaron, Chris, and Dan, I am forever grateful and truly blessed. I accept this Nightingale Award in honor of my late mother, Gertrude Burgess RN, known as Mrs. B. She taught me 
what nursing truly is. She exemplified what we're here for, to provide care and compassion for all patients, as well as our employees, no matter what their life story. Many amazing nurses, far too many for me to name, shaped my love of our profession and nursing leadership. I have been surrounded by great nurses throughout my life and career who showed me not only how to be a better nurse, but also how to lead our nurses to always keep our patients as the center of all we do. When I was notified that I won the Nightingale Award for Executive Administration, I was shocked because I know the caliber of nurse leaders I have worked alongside each and every day throughout my career. I was shocked, yet I'm tremendously humbled and honored more than I will ever be able to convey. Thank you. Now to the award for excellence in nursing in the community. This award recognizes a nurse who delivers innovative nursing services in a non-traditional setting, such as home care, community practice, and political or legal arenas. This year's award is sponsored by Advantage Health Centers. I'm Nina Abubakari, President and CEO from Advantage Health Centers, and I'm honored to present this award to a nurse who's taken community nursing to a global level. She's traveled to Dakar, Senegal, studying water and health associated conditions, visited clinics, and partook in opportunities to raise awareness and advocate for clean water and sanitation as a basic human health right for all. She's involved in changing community health on a national level, as well as in her role as a clinical program administrator for Youth for Global Health and Social Justice. This is a United Nations initiative which focuses on sustainable development in the community to ensure clean water and sanitation. This past year, she developed a clinical course of study for high school and college students focused on the effects of waterborne diseases. The Excellence in Nursing in the Community Nightingale Award goes to Latasha Whaley Lawrence from Beaumont Hospital, Royal Oak. I am a little pencil in the hand of a writing God who was sending a love letter to the world. When Mother Teresa wrote these words, I can only imagine how many poems of charity, compassion, comfort, and joy that little pencil was able to write. My nursing career, my only career, has covered more than 23 years. I am honored to be selected for a Nightingale Award for nursing and the community. My community includes volunteering my nursing gift in five countries. I have been humbled to serve in the face of unimaginable poverty and suffering. I believe God meant for each of us to live a life of divine purpose. Nursing is mine. I would like to thank Youth for Global Health for opening the door and pushing me to realize nursing goes beyond the bedside, beyond the walls of the hospital, and into the communities and hearts of those who have the feeling of being forgotten by all or of not being of use to anyone. I am the pencil to help rewrite their story. Thank you again. Congratulations, Latasha. We're on to the Post-Acute Care and Specialty Nursing Award. This award is supported through the generosity of AmeriCare Medical, a longtime partner and supporter of the Nightingale Awards. Greetings, colleagues, supporters, and friends. I'm Greg Jamian, President and CEO of AmeriCare Medical, and I'm honored to announce this year's winner of the Nightingale Award in the category of post-acute care and specialty nursing. This award is given to an individual who delivers effective nursing care in a specialized setting. This individual has finely tuned skills, is a lifelong learner, and demonstrates the leadership that promotes high quality, compassionate nursing care practices. This year's winner is a nurse that is passionate and skilled in using data to define an issue and then implement innovative solutions to resolve them. She's viewed as a respectful leader who is guided by strong personal integrity. She has been masterful in reshaping her system's care management model, changing roles and processes while still maintaining a high level of engagement and positivity amongst her teams and patients. She has been instrumental in applying her sharp knowledge around data and quality improvement in strategic 
organizational initiatives, such as improving patient satisfaction and driving a culture of safety. Her love for nursing and her passion for data analytics are reminiscent of Florence Nightingale's love for epidemiology and statistics. She's played a significant role in shaping her organization's post-acute care services, including home health care and pediatric hospice. She is passionate about ensuring high quality of care for patients and making sure they receive seamless transitions in their care. So, the Nightingale Award for Post-Acute Care and Specialty Nursing goes to Paula Levike from Beaumont Health. I am beyond honored to have been nominated and then am receiving this recognition. I've never thought of myself as a nursey kind of nurse as I always found myself involved in things outside of traditional nursing. I suppose being non-traditional is a part of me in everything I do. But the wonderful thing about being non-traditional in nursing is that the sky's the limit. Nursing's been a dream career that is available to anyone with the drive and determination to make it their own. That said, I've come to the Nightingale Award ceremony year after year, and I'm always floored by the work and dedication of my nursing colleagues, who are truly extraordinary. The event always inspired me to do more for nursing and to be a better nurse. Today, in the year of the nurse, the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth, as well as a year of global pandemic, the likes of which our nation has never faced, I have never been prouder to be a nurse. I would like to thank the selection committee for choosing me, and of course, I would like to thank Dr. Susan Grant, our Beaumont Chief Nursing Officer, my boss, and my role model for nominating me, and John Kerndall, our Beaumont Chief Financial Officer, for supporting my nomination. These two leaders have always supported me in my non-traditional aspirations. I would also like to thank my many peers and colleagues at Beaumont for their friendship and continued support. I have some truly great coworkers. And finally, I would like to thank my parents, Neil and Janine, for putting up with my non-traditional teenage years, my children, Annie, Zach, Delaney, and my two nurses, Liz and her husband, Matt, and mostly my wonderful husband, Martin, for always supporting me. Thank you again. Congratulations, Paula. This next one is a new Nightingale Award this year. It's for Pioneer in Nursing Research. This award recognizes a nurse who is a visionary in groundbreaking research and shows passion for advancements in nursing through research. Hello, I'm Michelle Sai, a member of Oakland University School of Nursing Board of Visitors and a proud alumna. I am pleased to introduce a new Nightingale Award category for 2020, the Pioneer Nursing Research Award. The winner of this award is a geriatric nurse practitioner, researcher, and educator. The recipient of this award began her research focused on chronic pain management in older adults. After a clinical rotation in hospice care, she specialized her research towards geriatric palliative care. This is a dedicated nurse who has applied her years of research and knowledge to educating and teaching nurses about primary palliative care. This recipient has over 45 peer-reviewed publications, has presented her research both nationally and internationally, has received funding for numerous grants as a principal investigator, and has contributed to Team Science as a co-investigator on several NIH-funded studies. It is a great honor for me to present the Pioneer in Nursing Research Award to Tony Glover, faculty member and Ascension Providence Rochester Endowed, professor of Oakland University School of Nursing. I am honored to receive the Nightingale Award for my research in palliative care, especially this year, the 200th birthday of Florence Nightingale. Florence wrote in her diary in the 1870s, it will take 150 years for the world to see the kind of nursing I envision. Of course, she was right. Her writings on the environment and healing are as relevant today as ever. Receiving this award reminds me of the importance of paying it forward to future generations of nurses. I was fortunate to have two outstanding mentors during my doctoral studies, 
My dissertation chair, Dr. Ann Horgus, received her Nightingale Award in 2000. I strive to be the kind of mentor and educator I was fortunate to have. Thank you to the award committee for selecting me and to my colleague and friend, Dr. Mary Galinsky, for nominating me. Congratulations, Tony, and thank you for your great work. These next two awards are for excellence in staff nurse practice. Some might say they are the heart and soul of nursing. Henry Ford Health System is the award sponsor presenting the first staff nurse winner. Hello everyone, I'm Barbara Rossman and I'm privileged to serve as the Chief Nursing Officer for Henry Ford Health System. Excellence in staff nursing is given to a nurse who demonstrates excellence in direct patient care delivered in a hospital, clinic, or subacute care facility. This individual is dedicated to quality, compassionate care of patients, and promotes a positive culture of nursing through exceptional practice and excellence in communication skills. She is an active leader in the nursing community, represents peers on several nursing councils, and is a clinical nurse preceptor. She's an expert in continuous renal replacement therapy and teaches classes to new staff and serves as a resource during therapy. She recently co-authored an ANNA chapter on renal replacement therapy that will be published this year. Amazing accomplishments for a staff nurse. The Staff Nurse Nightingale Award is Kate Wagner from Detroit Medical Center, Harper Hospital. Congratulations, Kate. I would like to thank the Oakland University School of Nursing and the Board of Visitors. I am honored and humbled to receive the Nightingale Award for Staff Nurse, given what the Nightingale Award means to our nursing community. We are all shaped by so many factors in our lives, our family, our friends, our jobs, our peers. I am fortunate to have wonderful parents who supported my decision to go into nursing. To my family, my parents and my brother, who supported me when I made the jump from being an event planner to my second bachelor's degree, and on to my current road of obtaining my doctorate in nursing practice at Wayne State University. To Ramo, my other half, who is my devoted supporter and knight, your faith in me is what propels me to continue this work. Without their patience, support, and love throughout this journey, I never would have been the person I am today. To my peers, past and present, to Dr. Maria Teresa Pileschi, Linda Willoughby, and Alicia Sorensen, I wouldn't be the nurse I am today without your guidance and support. To my best friend, Jen Domingo, who encouraged me through nursing school, and Katie Krause, who keeps me sane day to day at work. To my amazing fellow critical care preceptors, staff, and physicians, you rock it each and every day. To our current leaders, Sean Levitt, Julie Niemans, and Travis Maher, thank you for your intellect, passion, and staunch support of the bedside clinician. For all those patients who have touched my life in many ways since I started nursing, I am truly grateful. The strength demonstrated by nurses every day during this pandemic just further illustrates our resilience and innovative spirit. And to our nursing future, I'm going to quote Aristotle who said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. And of course, Florence Nightingale, nursing is a progressive art such that to stand still is to go backwards. This is what I want to strive for every day. I love nursing, the hospital staff, the patients, the families. I have been blessed with family, friends, and peers who have supported and nurtured this love. I wish the same blessings for all of you. Cheers to the year of the nurse. Thank you. Congratulations, Kate. The second Nightingale Award for Excellence in Staff Nurse Practice is presented by Beaumont Health. Hi, I'm Susan Grant, Chief Nursing Officer from Beaumont Health, and I am thrilled to present the winner of the Nightingale Award for Staff Nurse Practice to Christine Diotto from Beaumont Hospital, Royal Oak. Christine is a hospice nurse and is known for her passion in making sure comfort is a top priority for patients. She's focused her nursing skills on developing non-pharmacological alternatives for patients experiencing pain. And she's been instrumental in educating nurses, physicians, and families on these alternatives at Beaumont. She is a member of our employee advisory group, fostering communication between employees and leadership, 
and serves as a liaison to share employee perspectives on policy changes. She's known as a true leader and role model as both a charge nurse and preceptor who goes above and beyond. Congratulations, Christine, we are so proud of you. Hospice Matters. The end of life deserves as much beauty, care, and respect as the beginning. This quote by the Hospice Palliative Nursing Association has been my motto as a nurse. Our end of life patients are our teachers, engineers, grandparents, brothers, sisters, and even our children who deserve to end their life in comfort with dignity. Becoming a bedside staff nurse and providing care to end of life patients is truly an honor and privilege. As much as I give when I am on the floor, I feel like I get so much more in return from meeting and caring for such extraordinary patients. Making patients and their families the center of all care is as much my own philosophy as it is my employer, Beaumont Health. With that being said, I would like to thank my manager, Jennifer Martins, and my assistant manager, Kristen Chalk, for nominating me for the Staff Nurse Nightingale Award. It was a shock, and I am sincerely honored and humbled to receive this award. I am beyond fortunate to have them as leaders in this field and to work with some of the most amazing nurses. I would also like to express my appreciation to my family for all their support, especially as we face unexpected challenges as COVID-19. Well, this is it. We're to our final award, and it's the People's Choice Award. This one is unique from the other Nightingale Awards. This award is presented to a nurse who has greatly impacted the life of a patient, friend, or family member by going above and beyond during the caregiving process. This individual demonstrates exceptional practice and their actions inspire others. They were selected from nominations sent in by patients and family members who expressed gratitude for making a difference in their lives. Award sponsor, Oakland University Credit Union, will present the winner of the 2020 People's Choice Award. Hello, I'm April Klobis. On behalf of Oakland University Credit Union, I'm excited to present the winner of the People's Choice Award to Vanessa Sessi from Ascension Macomb Oakland Hospital Warren Campus. Vanessa is currently an adult ICU nurse but started her career as a pediatric hospice nurse. She was nominated for this award by three different families that met her at one of the worst possible times of their lives when their children were undergoing cancer treatment. For them, Vanessa's nursing went far beyond what a nurse typically does. Her care and love touched them. She's referred to by one family as being a nurturing angel with a servant's heart. Her care and concern went above and beyond. She assisted with wish foundations, made hair shaving moments happy and positive, and spent nights talking to patients, providing encouragement and uplifting stories to strengthen them through very challenging times. She's seen battles won and some lost. The Marshall family lost their 13-year-old daughter to cancer, but went on to start a national pediatric cancer charity, and through that organization, have come back to the hospital to visit Vanessa. When they do, they think of their daughter, and when she said to them, I want to be a nurse someday, like Vanessa. The nursing profession isn't for everyone, it requires someone with a true calling to help others. It's clear Vanessa has that calling. Congratulations, People's Choice Award winner, Vanessa Sessi. I often think of a quote from Will Smith. If you're not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. Your life will become better by making other people's lives better. I became a nurse to make people's lives better. And with every patient I take care of, I ask myself, what can I do to make their lives better today? It is an honor to have been selected as people's choice by the Nightingale Selection Committee, and I would like to thank them for their recognition. To have been chosen out of so many extraordinary nurses was not only surprising, but very humbling. I go to work and do a job that I absolutely love. As Confucius said, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. That's why I chose to be a nurse. First, 
I would like to thank the O'Connor family for nominating me for this special award. They will always hold a special place in my heart and it is an honor to have been a part of their journey. Becoming a nurse would not have been possible without the support and encouragement of my amazing family and friends. Above all, I would like to thank my husband, Jason, and my two sons, Dylan and Tyler, for supporting me and always being so understanding of my demanding work schedule, especially when I have to miss holidays. Congrats, 2020 Nightingale Award winners. Let's get you all on the virtual stage for one more moment of congratulations. You deserve applause. Wow, such an impressive group of nurses that are truly there to serve. Very impressive and true heroes. Cheers to you all. And now we would like to turn it back over to Dean Judy Didion, who has an exciting announcement in honor of the 200th birthday of the pioneer of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale. That was great, Kyle and Charlene. Congratulations to all the awardees. What an impact these nurses are making. Before we end this year's program, I'd like to share with you something special and introduce a new scholarship that's been created in honor of Florence Nightingale's 200th birthday with the hopes of creating more nurses like her. The Nightingale Legacy Endowed Scholarship will be awarded annually to an Oakland University nursing student who displays the pioneering spirit, intellectual foresight, and passion to serve traits that shaped Florence Nightingale's legacy. These founding donors of the Nightingale Legacy Scholarship have all contributed. Thank you all for your generous giving. This concludes the 2020 Nightingale Awards. Thank you for watching. I hope we'll all be able to be together again soon.